Hello there. Not sure how this will go down with German voters, but Brussels is looking to increase Germany's EU contributions by 42%. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost and I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. Well, it looks like the German taxpayers are in for a bit of a shock. Because according to the German newspaper Die Welt, they're going to have to fork out an extra 42% in the contributions they already give to the European Union. This, according to the German finance ministry, would be piling an extra 13 billion euros a year onto the country's EU bill. Germany already gives the EU 31 billion euros a year, and this increase would take it up to 44 billion euros a year. This comes from the EU Commission wanting to increase the total EU contributions from 1% of EU Gross National Income, or GNI, to 1.075% to take the annual Brussels budget to 1.1 trillion euros. GNI and GDP are different, but in the same ballpark. Now, the EU27 Council leaders will be holding a virtual conference this Friday to discuss this matter, as well as their pandemic relief plans. But what will concern them is that if this level of increase applies across the board, then all net contributing member states would need to pay more, and those net recipients may end up taking a less out in future years, or even becoming net contributors themselves so it may not be good news at all for any of them. And the 1.075% figure will be based on the 2018 EU GNI numbers, meaning that those who have just been hardest hit by the coronavirus pandemic will be really screwed. Also, it means that member state contributions as a percentage of their ongoing GDP will be much, much higher. Just think, as an example, UK GDP fell by 20.4% in April alone. Now imagine that, at the end of this year, the EU economy was 20% smaller compared to 2018, and member states still had to pay that increased amount in future in euros based on their own 2018 GDP numbers. If EU GNI fell by 20% by the end of the year, then that 1.075% of 2018 EU GNI becomes about 1.34% of future EU GNI. And the same sort of thing will apply to individual member state contributions with regard to their own GDP. And all of it borrowed. But how much each member state ends up giving in gross and net terms all depends on how the complicated EU budget contribution system works itself through. But this budget increase also potentially removes money from the member state governments just when they need it for their own national post-pandemic measures. But Brussels will squeeze it out of them for EU-wide initiatives that may end up not directly benefiting many of its member states. Further, because everyone now runs a national debt, it places pressure on member state governments to either tax their own people more to pay this extra levy – not going to happen – or to borrow even more on the international markets to fund it. And with Italy in the state it is, and Spain and France not far behind, coupled with the way the Eurozone is set up, you can see a debt volcano eruption building. On top of that, all the EU citizens will see is getting less out of Brussels but putting more in. And putting more in as things like local unemployment look set to rise. But it'll be OK for the Eurocrats. Lots of lolly for them to roll in. Makes Brexit sound all the better, doesn't it? Especially as we'd probably be tasked to pay more had the Remainers had their way and the implementation period was extended. 
Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about this? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.